Taylor Fisher syndrome is so cool it can be on the magazine. We're going to call it the GQ magazine. It actually does not because GBS has a close cousin and the cousin's name is Miller Fisher syndrome. The cousin's name is Miller Fisher syndrome. It is a very similar philosophy to GBS, meaning the same triggers, Campylobacter, EBV, CMV, whatever else that causes GBS is the same thing that's going to trigger it. To get a trigger, then you have autoantibodies that's going to go cause problems. But what are the problems that you'll see with MFS as opposed to GBS? It's a triad. You get? You have eye problem, we call that ophthalmoplegia. Ophthalmoplegia, you have ataxia. And number three, you have a. So when you say MFS, Miller Fisher syndrome, ophthalmoplegia, ataxia, and areflexia. Those is the triad. But you must have these three first. The triad must be present. Now, if say you have a patient with Miller Fisher syndrome suspicion, because the patient comes like precipitant of GBS, but has ophthalmoplegia, ataxia, and areflexia. How are you going to diagnose? You'll do a lumbar puncture and the lumbar puncture is going to show you what? Elevated protein and normal WBCs, but protein will be elevated. So what else are you going to check for in your CSF? So GQ magazine is what you're interested in. So you want to check for anti, anti GQ1B antibodies.